Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'd like to show you just how easy it is to reestablish the binding between your drone and your controller if you've ever lost that connection. Now, I know some of you out there are already thinking, Rick, that's a really simple thing to do. Why are you putting a clip together on this? It's not that hard. Well, honestly, everything's hard unless you know how to do it. And I've got a lot of new flyers that watch the channel and they ask us a lot of great questions. And I love helping new flyers get out there and have a lot of fun with the hobby. And lately we've had a lot of questions come in about losing binding. How do I reestablish the binding? So I thought I'd put a clip together and explain it because even though it's explained in the manual, it seems like nobody reads the manual anymore. They head over to YouTube and try to find the answer. So here we go with the answer. But before I get into it too deep, I want to talk about the binding process in general because a lot of people have this misinformation in their head about the binding is just a Wi-Fi transmitter, or in this case, an OcuSync transmitter that's looking for a drone, and when it finds it, it immediately connects. And it's a whole lot more than that, because that relationship, that binding relationship, is pretty monogamous. It's the controller knowing about the drone, the drone knowing about the controller, a lot of communication going back and forth. There's a secret handshake that takes place when they first link up, when you power up both of the devices. In a lot of ways, it's like a marriage where there's conversation going on all the time and they're supposed to be bound for life because when you get the drone the first day you get it and you open up the box, they're bound from the factory and you'd expect that to last forever. But sometimes that binding gets broken, just like a marriage. Sometimes you have rough spots in the marriage and you gotta kind of work it out. And that can happen by updating the firmware. Maybe you've got a new controller you want to introduce to the drone. So there's a lot of ways you can lose that binding. But understand that the binding is much more than just the radio signal between them. The controller knows about this drone and specifically this drone. And the drone knows about this controller and specifically this controller. And that's a Loctite relationship between the two because if it wasn't, the minute you spun up your controller, if there were other drones in the area, you would immediately take control of those drones and it would be a nightmare. So the binding is really important. All right, so for this example, it's pretty straightforward. I've got a Mini 2 over here and the RCN1 controller over here. Now, what I'm gonna show you are two different methods. I'm gonna show you the simple one through the software, which applies to a lot of DJI drones, all the Mini series and some of the larger drones as well. I'm also gonna show you a little hack that we've uncovered. I'm not sure if it's documented anywhere that you can actually bind it without having the application running and without having a phone connected to the RCN1. Now that works on the RCN1, but it's a great way to quickly rebind it to a drone if you're out there in the field. And I don't know, maybe you just don't have time to connect up your DJI Fly app, but I'll show you both of those methods. Now the first method is using the DJI Fly application. And then the second method is gonna show you the hack. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind that may prevent the binding. I've had a lot of people say, oh, I'm having trouble binding. I tried all the procedures and it's not working. One thing I found that you can trip over, and I don't know why this is the case, but if you're trying to bind a controller to your drone, pop the memory card out. So if you've got an SD card in a drone, take that out, especially if you're having trouble. I don't know why that may interfere with it, but I found a couple of times where I was having trouble binding a drone, I popped the memory card out and it worked just great. Another thing that can trip you up is firmware. So if you're in the middle of a firmware update, <laughs> please make sure you've got plenty of battery power in the drone to finish that firmware update because it can run into trouble there where you're middle of a firmware update, you'll lose power in the drone and sort of some of the bits got there, but not all of the bits got there and the drone's confused. It just doesn't know what to do. It's wandering around in the, out there in the wilderness. So if that's the case, then you've got to connect it up to your computer and you've got to download the application and do that firmware update directly off a computer. And I'll do a separate clip on that. But those two things, the firmware update might burn you and the micro SD card might burn you. But other than that, you shouldn't have any issues at all. It's a pretty straightforward procedure. So if you stay tuned next, what I'll do is show you the software version, which is really easy. And then I'll come back with the secret hack here at Drone Valley. To pair the drone to your controller using the DJI Fly application, first power up the drone and the controller. And then on the main screen of the application in the upper right hand corner, you'll find three dots. If you tap those, it will bring up the main settings page for the drone. Along the top, you'll want to tap control and then scroll all the way to the bottom of that page and you'll see repair to aircraft. At this point, you'll want to hold the power button on the drone down for about 10 seconds and you'll hear a beep, just like that. And if you notice, the LEDs are now strobing left to right. And in the application, that text at the bottom is changed to connect to aircraft. All you need to do at this point is tap that and the controller starts beeping and it's now looking for the drone. You just heard the drone double beep there and that means the controller has now found the drone. So if I go back to the main page, we're now connected and ready to fly. 
Okay, now that you understand the official DJI approved way of re-establishing the binding between your controller and the drone, I'll show you a little hack that we've uncovered that works really well with the RCN1 that allows you to do the exact same thing without requiring the DJI Fly application to be running. It doesn't even require you to connect the phone or a tablet up to the controller. You just need the controller and the drone. And this works on all the drones that you can fly with the RCN1. So to use this particular procedure, the first thing you'll do is power up the drone and power up the controller and give them a couple of seconds to sort of settle in and run through their power on self-test. Once that finishes, you can start the binding procedure from the controller or the drone. It works well both ways. I'll start with the drone. So to put the drone in binding mode, you'll push the power button and hold it for a couple of seconds until the drone beeps. Just like that. And now that drone is in binding mode, which means it's forgotten all of its previous bindings, it's sort of lost in the wilderness, and it's looking for a controller, and it's starting to panic. It's almost like it's playing Marco Polo, where it's yelling, Marco, Marco, and nobody's responding, and it can't find its way home. That's because the controller's not in binding mode yet. So to put the controller in binding mode, you're going to push these two buttons and the camera button on the back at the exact same time. Now this happens pretty quickly, so I'll push the top two and then the back one. Hear that beep? Now this is in binding mode. And all of a sudden, a conversation's going on between these guys. And the drone's saying, oh, I'm so glad you found me. And the controller's saying, hey, I really missed you. Let's get out there and start flying. But there's your binding. And it happened just that quickly because once you put them both in binding mode, as long as they're close enough, they're going to find each other. They're going to do that magical handshake. And then they're married again. So you're off and flying. Now, you might be wondering, why would I use that procedure, Rick? I mean, I've got my phone's connected. I've got the DJI Fly application running. Use whatever procedure works best for you. But remember, a lot of people don't even know this. You can fly this drone with the controller without a phone, without the DJI Fly application running. Just power up the controller, power up the drone, and go out in the backyard and have a little fun with it. Now, I will warn you, don't fly the drone 3,000 feet away because without telemetry information on the controller, you know, through your phone, you know, first person view, you could get way out there in the field and then not find your way back home. Well, I guess you could hit the return to home key, but it's not a good idea to be flying blind like that. So when would you use it? Well, there are times when I just want to sneak out back in the yard for a couple of minutes and just have a little bit of relaxing time flying the drone, working on my stick skills, and maybe I'm out it over a lake and I can fly it out a little bit and still see the drone and have a lot of fun when I'm flying. There are times I want Want to fly it without my phone connected so that's just something you can do anyway that's pretty much all i had for today so i hope i've given you enough information to understand that this is not a scary procedure and it's incredibly easy to do if you have any questions about anything i've covered today drop those in the comments below and i'll get back to you as quickly as i can if you've got other questions that you need answered drop those in the comments as well because i love helping new flyers get out there and have a lot of fun especially if you're new to the hobby this is a great hobby and summer's coming so you're going to have a lot of time to get up there in the air and capture some incredible footage and and by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I say this every time, what are you waiting for? We have so much good content coming. Hit that subscribe button down there and join the Drone Valley family. We'd love to have you as part of the crew. And I have so many technologies coming that we're going to be discussing on the channel between drones and robots and power supplies and all kinds of cool stuff that uh, you're definitely going to want to be here to check out. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, as always, <laughs> happy flying.